Hello friends! You want to know which of the mo two most recent playscale Millennium Falcons is better? The 2017 Force Awakens or the 2018 Rise of Skywalker? And it is the Rise of Skywalker. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, and we're going to dive in on a close up and get all in up in the faces of these Millennium Falcons. I'm going to show you why the 2018 is better. Uh, with that said, you're going to want to make sure that you watch all the way to the end of the video uh, to find out uh, more uh, more um, why it is. Uh, links and such will be in the descriptions. Um, but before we do get in that close up, I cover little things. I've had a mic issue on the past few videos that should be fixed with this video. Um, I apologize for that. And then a big uh, thank you to all of you who have subscribed and st stuck with me uh, through this at. We're at 250, so thank you very much. Uh, if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's dive into the close-up. Okay, here we are. Uh, we're on the 2017 Force Awakens, and over here we have the 2000. I keep on saying 2017, 2015. This is the 2018 Rise of Skywalker one. So overall, you know, what is the difference? There's a clear kind of difference here. Uh, overall, it's the, the main thing is these flaps. Uh, on the Force Awakens, it's single panes that are um, held in by two clips that they fall off really easily and uh, puts a lot of stress on those clips and they do break over time. I've had one that did uh, break. That's been my experience at least. And it has the square dish and say what you will about that. Um, but, you know, not my favorite design. Uh, it was only used for the Force Awakens and it was uh, changed, which is where we have the rounded dish that we see on the original trilogy on this uh, Rise of Skywalker one. It has a much more rounded design. You have the wider mandibles here. They have the dishes, the dish right there. Uh, you got a sticker right here that shows some detail of carbon scoring. Um, and then when we get nice and close on compare these two uh, top drawers, you have a bottom rounded piece with a sticker, of course. Um, not focusing real well here. But you know, you have that and it's a different design. Where this is much more blocky and chunkier. Uh, something that I don't really like. And then the problem with the single pane is you got lots of gapping that comes in here. With this one, you have some gapping um, between the two halves. There and there. Hard to tell unless you're coming around from the back. Um, and then um, my only issue with it is these seats just aren't are way too high. They're a very good design that allows you to have three seats, three seats, but it's not quite tall enough to hold um, to see minifigures and close at the same time. And then over here, you have just two seats. Um, so say what you will about that, but um, you can seat two minifigures and that's perfectly fine. You have, there's just no seat. You have the backing for the third couch, but it's not really a couch. I'm gonna open this one up. I mean, these still fall off, but you have a lot less of them that are going to fall off. I'm going to be able to, I'm to this one hand, I won't be able to put it back on. You have a kitchen, which is fine, um, either way. And you got a single hard drive, and then on the back, an easier access point to open up the scavenger pod. And on the back here, you have the hard drive, and then the medical bay. Same thing over here, next to the hard hard drive, hyperdrive, 
that you have um, polio in the medical bay. Uh, but a much more, like the bridge piece that connects to the cockpit, much more seamless. Looks uh, better in my opinion. This one's nice and wide, um, but it connects at an awkward angle and doesn't really give it that full flush rounded design like we got here. We have the corner on the side here and it connects. So I'm not able to get too close here, but it gives you the idea. They both have the same uh, ramps. They have a captain's chair. This one's just a little bit more detailed. You have the armrest and then you have that control panel underneath. Right there. And so that is exactly why I think the 2018 uh, number one is still available. Number two, it just uh, rounds out that full design that you're going to get with um, your Millennium Falcon. I think it's the best version we've gotten. Well, it, we did lose the height because the seats got higher on that couch, so you can't sit mini figures. And so that's something that's a little disappointing, but I think the next one, they're gonna figure out that solution and it's gonna become even better. But with that said, I still think that the 2018 Rise of Skywalker Millennium Falcon is the best we've gotten so far. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.